Hi guys, Sharper back once again with another Mint and Box. And today I'm going to be looking at a brand new wave of Lego minifigures. And if you can't tell by the bluish sky and the white cloud, well, you're going to be seeing in a minute. I had to cover up my address because I don't want people sending me weird things in the mail. But then again, I get a lot of weird things in the mail anyway. Hmm. Might have to re rethink that policy, but first, let's check out this rather plump package. <coughs> Yo! Woohoo! Yes, it is the Simpsons Lego minifigures. And this is to celebrate the 25th anniversary, I believe. And this is just a little piece about it. I have, oh, oh, what a lovely message. But yeah. <laughs> and go down. I have lots. I have lots of Lego mini figures. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16. Well, if I'm incredibly lucky, I will have a full range of these by the time I am finished. But I have 16 to go through. I think it's time that I get to opening. Now, where is my knife? My knife has disappeared. Who knows? Ah, there it is. But yeah, I might have to finagle this a little bit. Push that back a bit more. Push them back. As much space as I have on my desk, it's still not enough. Yeah. Uh, who can we get? Just as a basic, we got Ralph, Itchy and or Scratchy, Marge, Apu, Krusty, Mr. Burns, Homer, Bart and Ned. Uh, who do I want? I want a fair few out of these, but we'll crack this open to begin with. First things first, let's look at the full range. So... Homer, Bart, Marge, Lisa, Maggie, Grandpa Simpson, Ned, Krusty, Millhouse, Ralph, Apu, Nelson, Itchy and or Scratchy, Scratchy and or Itchy. Honestly guys, I don't know the difference. It's been a long time since I watched The Simpsons. Chief Wiggum and Mr. Burns. Might be a long time since I've watched it but it's still a very good animated series and a lot of the jokes referenced with these are stuff that I remember so let's see who we get first hey hey it's Krusty the Clown lovely ah. wow that's actually kind of Sinister. That's way more sinister than I thought it would be up close and in person. I mean, it's the regular Lego body, but it's just the head that's kind of weird. It's a little off putting, <laughs> to be honest. But still, very well sculpted the head. You get a pie accessory, and of course, you get a base. We'll put you off to the side for a minute, Krusty, and tidy up as I go. I've learnt my lesson from previous Lego blind bag openings. Second bag. Let's see who we get. It is Nelson. Yay. What I do like from what from the promo pictures I've seen are that for a change the shorts are 
painted with the skin tone and they actually have well shoes but there's Nelson with his trademark waistcoat and massive underbite look at that astounding yep I am liking him already pop you on your base sir he comes with a baseball bat pretty damn good Third, no swap so far. Let's hope our luck holds out. Yep, another new one. Can you guess? It is Millpool. I was actually hoping to get a Millhouse because I've got a little Lego movie collection going, and he, of course, is one of the master builders. But, glad to have him. And he comes with a little... Wow, my camera cannot even pick that up. But luckily, I'll be taking pictures later that are actually good quality. This is just for the blind bag portion. But yeah, he comes with a little comic of Biclops. Which <laughs> says quite a lot about Paul Milhouse. Biclops is actually rendered like a Lego minifigure. That's cool. So Millhouse, no swaps yet. Let's keep on going. Oh, and we have a hey, itchy and or scratchy. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know someone's going to correct me in the comments below. I just can't remember it off the top of my head. It's always just itchy and scratchy. Wow, that looks. Rendered in 3D, this mouse looks demented. I mean, it looks fine 2D, but wow, that looks scary. It's all bug-eyed. That's, yeah, that looks pretty scary, actually. And he comes with a club. Coolio. <laughs> right. Our luck is, we're having tons of luck so far. But I, I'm i sure it's not going to last. I say that as we get a brand new one. We get a poo. Thank you, come again. A poo and a squishy cup. I do like that from the Lego movie series you have like this coffee cup but they've used it quite well here as the squishy cup as well but yeah a poo is rendered quite nicely the greens look great on him his graying hair that is pretty nice I like it so five down 11 to go. I'm going to pick one from the bottom. Trying not to feel the bag so I have a hint at what's coming. Oh! We have our first duplicate figure and it's Millpool. <laughs> Badger my ass, it's probably Millhouse. Yep, Millhouse. You go over there, away from the others, like usual. Let's take one from here. Trademark blue pants, trademark white shirt, trademark dome. We have Homer. There we go. And he comes with a nice little donut accessory. And a TV remote. Lovely. It's nice that these, the more widely available ones, don't have that weird seductive half closed eyes that the figures in the Simpson House set do. So I'm very happy to have just a regular Homer. 
His hair's rendered nicely. It's not sculpted, but oh. The hair on his head is ever so slightly raised, so that's good. But yeah, there is the man himself. Okay. Out of seven, we've only got one duplicate, so we are doing immensely well so far. Uh, let's go here. And we've got Marge. I don't know why I keep taking those out. I know what the figures are. Oh yeah, she's got one of these. Oh, saucy. No. She's got one of these dress things that I never quite get able to fold properly. Because you always get this bit here. It doesn't look quite right. But, there we go. Bizarre thigh revealing skirt aside. Oh man, her head is big. Oh man, yep, that's Marge. <laughs> and she comes with a purse. And what I, I'm guessing is a magazine called Do Not Fancy. Lovely. Marge is pretty good, yep. Yeah. Rendered perfectly. Huh. Her torso and back are exactly the same, so that's something. Yeah, I'm um, two out of the five Simpsons. Lots of background characters. I'm not wow, that's pretty thick. I'm guessing this is gonna be itchy or scratchy. No, it's oh I must Well well. <laughs> you deceived me, Bart Simpson. I knew you would. Huh. Oh, it's got a little slingshot in his back pocket. That's cool. Kind of terrified eyes. <laughs> we also have his skateboard, which is cool. Rolls quite nicely. We'll put it in his hand and put him on his base. Base, 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 knowledge. There we go. Well, out of the Simpsons, I need Maggie and Lisa. Let's go with this on the far left. Who will it be? It's another Bart. It's another Bart. Another Bart Simpson. You can go play with Millhouse, cause he's another duplicate. I'm singing songs while I make Lego minifigures. Just fill time, just fill time, until we get to another packet. Come on guys, I at least want Ralph. Give me Ralph. Ralph is great. Hey, I got Lisa, and she has a weird skirt as well. Damn. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. If the Lego Simpsons line was going to be more expansive, I mean, they've got the Lego Simpsons house, but that's really really expensive and they're only doing one series of these minifigures as far as I can tell it would have been nice if the lion had been expanded into something more it would have been nice to see variants of the characters we know and love so we could have had Bartman or okay Bartman's all I've got off the top of my head right now. And she's got a saxophone. Yay. And she's got nice spiky hair. Yeah, that's Lisa. Lisa, 
Her teeth are big and green. Lisa, she smells like gasoline. Let's keep on going. Tidy up. Lots of extreme packets. And we have another itchy and or scratchy. I'll take this moment to say that itchy and or scratchy's head is very soft rubber. I don't know why the others are rendered in plastic. This one is not. Yeah, none of the others are rubbery. But hey, we have another mouse in the house. Get on your base. Get out my face. Right, so we have four to go and we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are about seven to go. Yeah, is my math right? I'm not good at math. But yeah, there are a few we are still missing and we are not going to get them in these last five packets. Last four packets. See, I am not good at maths. It's amazing I'm able to breathe. And we have another Marge, yet we are definitely not getting a full set, which is fine by me. There's a couple here that I think are pretty weak source, but for the most part they are quite nice little min minifigures. See what I mean? The fabric thing just doesn't fold correctly. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but... There, this one can be a slightly amorous Marge. Likes to show off her legs for her homie. She can hold her accessories in the opposite way to the one I've already done. Ta-da! So, four swaps. Nine, four duplicates, nine regular ones. Let's see who we've got next. But um, another itchy, as fast as I can. Itchy and scratchy, go. Racing through these now. Good thing I didn't spot who it was. Oh, it's Millhouse. That's your my ass. It's probably Millhouse. Sorry, that <laughs> that's just my favourite Millhouse related quote from Simpsons. Yeah, Millhouse. Got three of him now. Yay! And the last one. I'm really hoping for either Ned or the cat or Ralph yeah one of those three would do me fine especially the cat because I haven't got an axe but who will it be oh tension oh and it's Maggie is that it? Yeah. Oh. Well, luckily, we did manage to get a full set of Simpsons. This is a new body piece. But I suppose it's what. Wow, that is a worried expression. And Bobo. Very nice. But yeah, we managed to get a full set of Simpsons. And that's not bad. Bring everyone in. Put the Simpsons all together. Extra characters behind them. So yeah. Not counting the six duplicates. I'd say I've done pretty well out of this. There's only a couple more that need to be gotten. 
and yeah I think these are pretty damn good so if you like the Simpsons and I know a lot of people do and if you like the Lego there are a lot of nice little new elements to be used here so for Mint in Box this has been the Lego Minifigures Collection and I'll catch you guys next time on Mint in Box